Am I short? Okay. All right, I just heard a bunch of, a sea of yeses, and then a sea of how tall are you? I'm five foot eight. He'd like me better if I wasn't a bitch. I'd like him better if he wasn't five nine. I mean, we're both. This just makes me think about the fact that we can't make fun of a girl's weight because that's body shaming, but girls can make fun of a man's height. Why is every pretty girl with a horrible looking man? I don't understand. You give an ugly guy a chance, he thinks he wins the world. To my fellow tall bitches out there, trust me, it is okay to be with a guy who is shorter than you. Most of the time, it's better because if need be, you could probably kick their ass. To be born a certain height and then to sit there and go, what do I do? I'll tell you what you do. You become the best version of yourself, just like everyone else does. We still had to become the best version of ourselves. If I was only six foot three and didn't achieve any of the other things I've achieved, none of you would be watching this podcast right now. True. Nothing about the height is in and of itself enough value for you to be a valuable man. As a man, you build your value. You are born with the cards you're dealt. Sure, it'd be ideal. You can only become the best version of yourself and to sit there and constantly complain about it is a feminine frame. If you're five foot two, you need to become rich, strong, well connected, and funny and careful. Charismatic and interesting and witty. If you're six foot four, you need to become rich, strong, well connected. It's the same game. So to sit there and complain about it is asinine. In fact, asinine is the word of the day. All of you are handsome. I don't think you understand. Bacteria could have stolen your eyesight at the age of fucking three. You could have been in a car crash at four years old and lost your legs. You have any understanding of how lucky you have been? This is pure luck. This only luck has kept you fully able body, sitting there, capable of learning and listening and becoming something. And then you're gonna sit there and pretend you don't have a pocket full of aces. You have a pocket full of aces along with everybody else. I'm uninterested. We're not females. If you come to me and say, I'm an ugly chick, what do I do? That's a genuine question because then you're fucked, right? But if you're an ugly man, that's not real because you can become scary. You don't need to be good looking. You can be scary as hell. You can just be a monster. That's fine. You don't have to be handsome if you're scary. You don't really need to be that tall if you're important and rich. And when you walk in the room, you think when fucking Mayweather walks in the room, people give a shit? That's Mayweather. Now he's 5'3 or something. It, he's, he's tiny. He's tiny. Yeah. So this, whole, this whole narrative, this whole frame, the fact you even ask that question shows that you're fundamentally broken. So fix that. Fix that frame in your mind. You are viewing yourself as a short man. Stop it. Because then she's going to view you as a short man. Walk the fuck up and be the man. That's the answer to the question. There's no other answer to give you. You can't change it. That's the answer. It's absolutely ridiculous to go through life wishing you're something or not. The, the chessboard is the chessboard. It doesn't matter if you're five foot nine, five foot seven, five foot two. That's who you are. So you can be the best version of yourself and own it, or you can become an insecure bitch about it.